In this tutorial, we're going to be covering how to make this highlight material. Take no credit for this one. This is totally from online. There's a number of videos online to do it, but I want to use it in one of my videos. So I thought I'd make a video here on how to do it. Let's get started. We're going to create a new material. We're going to call it outline. For the material, we're going to set it to a post-process material and opaque. Default lit is fine. We'll start with a highlight color parameter. Hold three and click. So it's the parameter. Make this the highlight color. I'm gonna make a float four out of this. Dragon from the red. Float four. And it's gonna connect those up. And we're going to add a glow intensity parameter, so it's just the scalar holding S. I'll call it just glow intensity. And multiply our color by that. Set this to fine by default. We're going to need a post process input. So this is a scene texture. And this will, if you have any other post process inputs, and this will differ, but if you're just starting out like where I am now, it's going to be zero, and we're actually going to lerp that with our color. And that will be our emissive. So now that we've got the color going in, we need to sort out this alpha here. And this is. Quite a bit to do this, so we're just going to start with a scene texture here. This is sort of the midpoint of what we need to do, but this will be an easier way to do it. So the, we're actually looking for scene texture, and we need to set this to custom depth. So this first one I'm just going to stick up here because it's different, and then we're going to have another four. And now we need to subtract each of these from that top one. So let's start up here. First one from the second one. And then we're going to need another three subtractions here. So let's just put them in. And they're all going to be subtracted from that top one. So this one is going to be the second one here at the bottom, third one, and the fourth one, like so. Now we need to add these back together. So it's going to be an add. It's going to be an add for the bottom two, and then, then two back together. So add those two, add the top two, and then add these. Now we'll need another parameter here for our fall off. So we're going to call this edge angle fall off. And we're going to divide that by well, what we've got coming out of here. And I'll set this to a negative 100. And we're going to subtract one and clamp it. And that goes into our alpha. Now you're not going to see much yet because we're not we haven't done the UVs yet. So for the UVs, we're going to start with the view size. We're going to need a parameter for the line width, so scale, line width. I'll just set that to 1, and we're going to be multiplying that, you know, sealing the, the view size, clamp it to 2, 1 to 2, oops, not 10, 
to we're going to duplicate that and we're going to get our scene textual size pixel multiply that in and now we've got to split with the red and the green channels so we're going to do a component mask This one red, this one green. And now we just want to put the other value in that mask to zero. So we're going to do append, uh, append vector. And we need, just want this to be zero. So I'm just going to put a value in here. The same down here. This will go into the, the B and the A will be zero. And now we get need to get our screen position. Get the red and green channel of that, the component mask again. And now we want to add these to our outputs here. So we're going to need several adds here. So uh, we're going to need four. And this is, these will be the inputs to our UVs here. So I'm going to actually bring this down. So this will be top one, second one, third one, fourth one. And then the top one will be just be straight red channel. The second one will be straight green channel. Ah, oh, sorry. B. Yep. Sorry, the A has to be all these positions. So now for these bottom two ads, we need to invert our outputs here. So we're going to multiply negative one. Good. So oh, we want to change our highlight color to to white. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to see <laughs> or whatever color. Uh, Let's save and apply. So now let's create an instance of that. Save it. And to apply this, we need to have a post-processing volume in the world. So if you've already got one, you can use that. Otherwise, add a new one. Now in here, we need to add our material. So if you search for material, get the post-processing materials and we can add our material here. We also need to set the bounds to infinite otherwise or otherwise resize the box to wherever you want it to affect. Once we have that, the, we can run that second pass on anything that we want to highlight now. So, or outline I should say. So let's just demonstrate that on this box here. If we search for depth which is under rendering and we can just enable this to highlight anything bit freaking out all right that flickering i think we can fix that i think that's it comes into your outline just, just click on the actual uh, result node and the, um, you can change the order of the pass it's called blend location Blendable location. So if we change this after translucency, we should get a better result. There we go. Nice, nice edge. Now we can play with our values. So now we can turn off and on highlighting to anything we want, and I'll show you how to do that in C++ in my selection tutorial coming soon. Thanks for watching. See you later.